This is the most beautiful RC car that I have ever seen. It looks majestic from the outside, from the inside and even from the bottom. And today I want to show you its incredible design, awesome scale details and take it for a run. Let's go! As I said it's from a company called 3D Sets and this model is the Model 19 Torque and I also have the Hustle Pack on it. If you're curious what the Hustle Pack is, you pretty much just get some extra air intakes, some really nice rims, you get a spoiler and some little side skirts and a few other details but that's the main things. The car is 60 centimeters long, 24 wide and 17 high. Meaning it's a pretty big car and it weighs over three and a half kilos. For the drivetrain it is a rear wheel drive however you can decide whether you're going to make it an open differential or a closed differential. As you can already see it already looks great but let me just come a little bit closer and show you some of the cool little details. On the front we've got this big long grille with four circular lights on the sides. Right under the grille we have our little license plate which you actually push in so you can open the hood of the car. And inside we have a really nice scale engine, we have batteries, we have all of the oils, like you would in a real car. Everything here is designed in a very interesting way, even the way that this hood opens you can see the little mechanism that makes it stay up, it's all very advanced. On the side we've got our little blinker lights and our awesome rims. These are actually multicolor because they are made of multiple little parts and in the end it just makes this really cool realistic effect. Moving a little bit more back, we have our scale air intakes. These are actually part of the hustle pack. On the door we have our mirrors and our handle, which does actually work, but I'll show you that later. And moving all the way to the back now, we have our big spoiler, which is also part of the hustle pack. We have our four lights on the back. They look very scale and realistic. We have another license plate that does also push in. And once you push in the license plate, the boot opens up. In the boot is our electronics, batteries, everything like that. This is meant to be tidied up, I just didn't get around to doing that yet. For the boot opening mechanism, if you look closely the boot actually gets to a certain point and when you pushed it past that point it actually latches up and stays open. I don't really know how they did this but it looks sick. Going a little bit lower we have our two scale exhausts, also look cool. And it is pretty much the same on the other side. Now, going into the interior, we actually lift up this handle, which does work, and it unlatches the door. And once we're in, we're greeted with this beautiful red color that I chose for the interior. I think it really just makes it pop and stand out. And the amount of cool little details everywhere, even on the door, we have the little handle that you use to put the windows up and down. We have all of our little buttons there, hand rest, everything is here. The two front seats actually do fold down as well, so that someone could get into the back seats, which is a really cool detail. We have our scale dashboard and the driver does actually get all of the realistic buttons, dials, everything is here. You can even see the tiny little details on the speedometer for example. Really, really detailed. We have our multicolor steering wheel as well. And in the middle we have our gear shifter knob and we have our center column. We even have our little reversing mirror at the top, really really nice. On the back seats there's a little bit less room but I think that's also pretty realistic and we do also have our little knobs to open and close the windows which is a cool detail as well and overall just looks really nice. Looking at the bottom we have our scale under tray and these cables are actually not meant to be here they're meant to go in the side skirts but I just did it like this because I think it's easier for me to replace electronics or change something if I ever want to. We have a complete exhaust system going from the engine all the way to the back. We do also get suspension, the shocks are from AliExpress and I think they're meant for like a drift car of, of some sorts, but they fit here perfect. We've got independent front suspension, also have the same shocks and we have these really nice detailed little arms. Again, everything here is done up to a very high standard. Now going into some more little specific things. So for example, for my windows, I actually used a plastic kind of folder and I cut off the front page, like the cover page, and I made the windows out of that. It looks pretty really scale and you can kind of bend them so that they fit even better. All of the outside body, everything that's black on the car is printed of PLA matte. 
on my Bamboo Lab P1S. Again, everything here is printed on my Bamboo Lab P1S. This printer knocked the whole job out pretty quickly, but it did take me about a month to print everything. And that is because I was printing on and off, sometimes printing something else or sometimes printing this. So it's pretty irregular what I was doing, but it, again, it is a really big car. Some of the parts here were huge and printed multiple hours, but a lot of them are also very small and were a very quick print. In the gearbox and transmission, we have a lot of these rubber belts inside and it's really complicated in there, so I'm not gonna get into that. For my ESC, I'm running a Hobbywing Quick Run brushless 30 amp ESC. Plenty of power for this thing. The motor that I have in here is actually made for uh, quadcopters and other like drones of some sort but it fits here very well and it's pretty cheap. All of the things that I'm showing here will have a link in the description so if you're interested in looking into them then just go down below. The tires are these really soft tires that I bought on Aliexpress. Again pretty cheap but they fit perfectly and I think they look very well as well. If you're planning on making one of these cars you will need a lot of hardware that means that there's going to be a lot of screws that you need but everything is listed very well on the part list on the website. So if you just follow the link down below to the car, you will find all of the instructions, part lists, everything there. You do also get a very well detailed instruction with the car, lots of little details so that you don't make any mistakes. Everything is explained very clearly and very easy to understand. So it's pretty, it's a very advanced car, but I'd say it's pretty simple if you know what you're doing. But anyway, let's actually go drive it. And I'll tow it to the location with my other 3D sets car because you don't want to put too much miles on such a nice car, do you? Oh yeah, and both of these will be running on a 2200 mAh 3S battery.
Jeez, that was so much fun to drive. I'm just really impressed on how well this handled as well. It handles exactly how a real one would, I think. Overall, I'm very impressed. No damage to the car, just like I took it out before. Nothing has changed. I hope it came out on video as well, but in real life it looked epic driving. All of the tiny little bumps, the way it jumped, it had some punch as well, really, really well. And overall, this just has been a really fun video to film. It was really nice watching it drive along. I mean, it just looked so realistic, like in a Fast and Furious movie. And I think that would be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of the links are in the description to the car, the electronics, the other car that I towed it with, the Toyota. Everything is in the description. And for now, that's all. So go subscribe and like down below. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.